So today I'm going to show you how to make simple homemade spaghetti sauce. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And comment below if you want to see me make something else. And also don't forget to share with your friends and family. Okay, so I have three different kinds of tomatoes. We have one imported from Italy, a name brand, and a, a generic one. So this one is $4 and these ones are less. These ones are like $1.50. So and these ones you can make twice as much as you can with this one. So you can also use fresh tomatoes, but we don't have any tomatoes growing yet. Okay, so we opened our cans. So the one imported from Italy is a lot thicker and it has a basil leaf somewhere in it, so it's going to have more flavor. Then the name brand is really runny, can't really tip it or else it's going to spill everywhere. And it's not as full. Okay, so we have two 28 ounce cans. Okay, so now we're going to dump them into a big pot. That sounded gross. Squish them now. <laughs> this is fun. My parents say it's like in Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom when your guy reaches and grabs his heart out. Okay, so if you don't want to squish it with your hand, you can use an immersion blender. And you can also use it if you want a smooth tomato sauce, but if you want some chunks, that's fine. Okay, so now when you're done mixing it to how smooth or thick you want it, you're going to add in the rest of the ingredients. We have about 6 ounces of tomato paste. So we just use small cans, so we just add it all in, but if you have a tube, add in as much as you want. <laughs> it's hard to get out. Okay, that's done. Um. Okay, so now we have some basil leaves, a teaspoon of basil leaves a teaspoon of oregano leaves, um, a teaspoon of, um, of onion flakes. Make sure you use onion powder or onion flakes. And you don't want to use gar onion salt or garlic salt. We also have a teaspoon of garlic powder and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Then when after you taste it, you can add in some salt if you want. Okay, so now we're done putting all the things, we're going to mix it. So you're going to let this, you're going to bring it to a boil, then let it simmer for about 30 minutes to an hour. But you want to keep checking it because it can burn. Then after you taste it, you can add in salt or more of anything really. Our tomato sauce has been brought to a boil, now we're going to turn it down to a simmer. So our sauce is done, and now I tried it and decided to add in a quarter teaspoon of salt. And after that, it was good. You can use it for spaghetti, pizza, mozzarella sticks, um, and meatball sandwiches, and really whatever you want. Time to 
to try some tomato, tomato paste. Three, two, one.